Welcome back. Welcome back. Here doing another TOT. Would you rather? Whatever you want to call it. Haven't done one in a minute. Thought of this idea the other day. Both guys are absolutely hooping right now. So we figured it'd be the best time to bring it to you. He's they're both in the news. They're both playing some really good ball. Both teams starting to look like contenders again. Um, would you rather Steph or Luca? Pretty sil- simple. We're going to pick some sides on it. We're going to give you some stats. We're going to give you some reasoning. Let us know in the comments who you think. But um, Finn, who you picking? Slim, who you picking? Let's get right into it. You know, I got big seven, seven, <laughs> six foot. I think 10. I think six, seven's a lie. Six I foot, 10, 240. Insane. I've seen pictures of him next to people who are tall. Six foot, 10, 240, 250. Believe the hype. See. You know who I'm going? I'm going with my twin, my my most said look alike. You feel me? I'm going <laughs> thuddy. I'm going thuddy. That's crazy. Spencer Dinwood is your number one look alike, buddy. That's what the goatee. That's what the goatee. But when when I'm when I when I have the beard and then you know I got the fro, you know what I'm saying? So I be hooping and and, and the way I be shooting from the range, they be like, Boy, you look like thuddy. And I'm like, <laughs> help it, you know what I'm saying? All right, I'm gonna I'm I'm torn, but I'm lean Luca. I lean Luca, but I'm torn. This also could just be because of my Cavs fandom and me not wanting to pick Steph. But yeah, I mean I'm gonna start off here, Slim. You can counteract me, but I mean Luca with both guys have had extended periods without their second best player. I would argue that Draymond or maybe their most important second player, because Draymond's not the second best player on the team, but I think he's the second most important player. Um, Luca without Kyrie averages 37.6, 11.3 assists, 9.1 rebounds, 11 and 8 record, shooting 48% from the floor. Great numbers. Bro, I mean, the num- if you're just going hard. numbers, if you're going numbers, numbers, it's not even a debate. But then you've Steph with no Draymond. He's 11 11, 25 even points, 4.8 assists, 3.5 rebounds, shooting 42% in those games. They are 11 and 11. So it's a, like, I don't want to try and make this like an impact on winning and just look at the records kind of thing. Cause the eye test is there for both of these guys, but Luca to me, just, he just commands an offense like with the ball in his hands better than Steph Curry does. And I think Steph to me is a lot of fit and scheming him open while he can do it himself. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to say that Luca just to me makes everything happen while Steph has a Draymond to do that if that makes sense 100 percent. and uh in regards to this uh this or that you feel me like follow comment subscribe show you mom show you auntie we appreciate you shout out to you. be faithful you know what i'm saying uh what do you say auntie no he said that auntie no but anyway auntie no? <laughs> 2020 but, or auntie no? <laughs> but uh i think luca definitely impacts winning you know no argument there but i think that you know with steph's history you know having championships uh he knows how to really handle the pressure a lot more in the playoffs and i think that that's really what it comes down to not just winning you know however many during 82 but when the postseason comes around and can you come around to getting a chip? And I think that Steph definitely, we already know he impacts winning, you know, being a finals MVP and, you know, being the elite player that he is, you know, being able to shoot from the perimeter as well as he does, but also, you know, like his gravity affects how Draymond can facilitate for, you know, the other players around him, you know what I'm saying? So that's where I'm at with it. Finn, you have anything you want to make or no? I mean, we're talking about two pretty much unguardable players in their own way. I just feel like if I'm putting a team together and I'm trying to win a game tomorrow, I want Luca with my team's jersey on. That dude is different. See, I don't know if I'm doing that. I think I in that scenario, I might go Steph. That's the scenario. What other scenario is there? No, that's fair. I like I didn't want to do it like just based on the season, but like who would you yeah, who would you rather build a team around for like an entire season? I th- Luca. Yeah, I guess. I Dude, don't this know. guy don't, if you told him go out there and get 20 assists tonight and score 15, he'd do it. Like we've never seen him have to play to a specific role because he's the best player on his team. He's probably the best one of the best scorers in the league. I guarantee you his game is gonna age and he's gonna be able to manipulate like the way he manipulates defenses is 
And so, and again, we're we're comparing him to Steph Curry, who 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 invented doing that kind of thing. But averaging thirty eight since the All Star break, it's only been three games. But like. Though there certain there's guys that flip those switches, dude, and like we're we talking about it in the in the math tiers with Jokic and him and Kyrie just combined for whatever it was fucking eighty points, and he goes out and gets seventy, and like I and I and I don't know, there it's just an eye test thing for me. It's it's not, I'm not a numbers guy, and that's the guy I want. I'm fired up to watch these playoffs, one hundred percent. And uh, you know, for me, like I'm not a numbers guy either. I'm a gravity guy, Luca. Luca's gravity is different, but I think it's about I think it's about how you build around those those prodigal players, you know, being Luca and stuff. And I think that, you know, Dallas had a magnificent, you know, trade deadline day and uh, arguably the best, you know, comparing against the Knicks. But, um, you know, adding P.J. Washington, Daniel Gaffer, you got Josh Green over there, Derek Lively, Kyrie Irving, you know, all of those guys around Luca play their own style of game even Tim Hardaway Jr they all play their own you know different type of game they have a different style of pace that is you know like surrounded around Luca and Luca's pace and Luca's gravity himself and I think that the Warriors you know have a different play style just because the way that they draft you know their rookies you know coming up into the league they they put them through a process of, you know, let's just call it, you know, stamina training to see how they can, you know, move and meander, you know, just as just as Steph would, you know, to be able to, you know, get an open look or to be able to to rim run. And I think that Jonathan Kaminga is having his best season, you know, by far. But um, the more that they, you know, get that 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 energy of of not only playoff experience but championship experience that's a lot of games to win you know what i'm saying that's like 16 games you feel me that you got to win in order to get a chip so it's like you know when you continue to when you continue to play on that level and just have that energy with you it it makes your it makes not only Steph's gravity a lot greater but it makes everybody else a threat. We see that Draymond is, you know, feeling a lot more comfortable, you know, shooting his open three-point shots. Mm -hmm. But um, same thing is going to affect uh, Brandon Pajemski, you know, Jonathan Kaminga, hopefully Wiggs and all those guys. You feel me? Yeah, no. My thing is I know I'm playing both sides here. But, like, to me, I just think we've – because the way the Warriors run their offense in the playoffs, to me, is different than we see it in the regular season. A lot of time in the regular season, Steph spends a lot, a lot of time off the ball until the fourth quarter when he starts to dominate a little bit more and can still get his buckets both ways. Luca dominates the ball, and it's not like it's doing nothing. Like it's obviously translating to wins, numbers, other guys, and all that. But Luca just also has the ball so much in his hands that his numbers are going to look better. Yeah, but bro, he's shooting high sixties percent. Show me a guard who's ever averaged thirty-seven without their co-star shooting sixty-something percent. It's fair, but Luke is also six foot eight. It doesn't matter. Like, but like that's like. Saying, show like, me anyone who's scoring from the spots he's scoring from who's shooting high sixties in a in a full year. Well, he's not shooting sixty percent for the season. It's can around he, there. Can he? It's around I, there. As long I as you're 50 plus with those kind of shots, you're gonna make me fucking pull it up because I'm pretty sure it's, well, it's not 60. percent There's no way. There's I know. No it, I know. Luca. Luca got. Or it's true shooting. You said what? He probably. Let me guess. He probably shoots 48.4 percent. 53. 49.4 percent, dude. Get the oh, I was one off. That was pretty good. I mean, no, still unbelievable. Bro, I mean, we're comparing two, in Allen my opinion. 34 on jump shots, shooting 50%. That's unbelievable. It's unheard of. That's wild. Yeah, no, like, I just think that when, if Steph wanted to play the style that Luca did, I don't think the rebounding numbers are obviously going to be there because of the size difference. But I think if, like, we got to see it last year in the playoffs versus the Kings. When Steph wants to be the guy with the ball in his hands, he can give you 35 anytime he wants. Like, he's that good. And there's shots that he takes that I'm just like, wow. And same thing with Luca, to be honest. But like, 
it's just so wild to me that like Luca's already in like to me this is the bet like last the playoff run where the last championship versus the Celtics to now is a better Steph Curry than I saw when he was still winning championships with like KD in them. Like to me, this Steph Curry is the best Steph Curry I've ever watched. And Luca at this point, he's 26, 25, and he's this good already. It's wild. Steph uh, shooting 44% from the field. That's a little ridiculous as well. Yeah. I mean, the shots he takes is, yeah. I mean, Steph's never been like the highest percentage guy consistently. Um, I think he's having not like, if you just look at the numbers, it's not as good, but like closing games, he's been unbelievable. Um, like I know they lost, but first the Hawks that game when he dropped 60, like those shots were the craziest things I've ever watched on a basketball court. I like, was, for, a- yeah, it was like wild. I also had the Warriors, so like I was freaking out, and they started. Was- beat. But like, always it loves was- betting against the Hawks, dude. No, I bet with and against the Hawks all the time. I actually probably bet the Hawks the most out of any team in the NBA, which is like probably the dumbest thing to do because they're like just mid. Like they're out of their last like conversation seven- for another day. Conversation for another day. But yeah, um, no, I just think like I don't know. I like would I rather have Luca on my team for the next three years than Steph? I don't know if that's what we're doing right now. I know. I'm just thinking about it in my head. No, I know hundred thousand percent. Yes. Yeah, I, I guess I would have to. I guess I would have to. Your hands are tied, and they are. Don't, you it's don't want to going down the five year, ten year road, obviously. So, yeah, yeah. but the kid, the the kid's gonna win chips, dude. He, I still am under the, I still believe that he's never been on a good team. See, I disagree with that. There's a thing with Luke. I think Luke, Luke is he one makes of my those teams players. look as good as they are. Lucas as in my top five, like players, to, like he's one of my favorite players in the NBA. But I think a lot of what the reason that his team hasn't gotten to me over that like championship hump and made it to the finals yet is because Luca to me can always get 35, 10, and 10 anytime he wants. Can always I do it. I don't like this argument. He can always do it, but there's a time where you're got like the teammates around you have to be able to perform and carry you because you're not always going to be able to do it by yourself throughout. Tim Hardaway's about to win six man of the year. True, and I think Tim Hardaway's playing having a good season. But if you look at numbers like Grant Williams off the team, Grant Williams' points per game went up like eight. Porzingis' points per game went up on less shot attempts and better efficiency. Like I just think there's an element to it. I disagree with it, but that's an argument you could make is that the team, like the players averages go up just because Luca dominates the ball so much. But like, if you're a catch and shoot player, like there's also guys that averages went down, like DFS on the nets isn't nearly as good as everyone thought when he was on the Mavericks. But let's just, let's, let's like, you could, you could say he's never been on a good team. Dude. I'm yeah, talking no, about like right. I'll say this I'll say this he made it he has to now he, he made it to the Western teams. Conference Finals Look fucking good did he make it to the Western Conference Finals mm-hmm. a couple years ago yeah 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 it's like sophomore year and I'm pretty sure uh, I may be wrong but oh, he did it by himself the Hawks also made it to the Eastern Conference Finals and I can attest to that not being Trey's best roster and i'm not comparing those two at all but i'm saying that i can understand that this season is is luca's best surrounding crew yeah for sure, for sure. um it's, any other final arguments or we'll leave it up to the comments uh, yeah, uh get in the comments dude we'll yeah. see how that goes they're gonna be like slim's giving matt weird looks <laughs> <laughs> but yeah no great comment by that guy really Loved hype it. on that. me up made my day But yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Let us know who you would rather have for your team the rest of the season. And peace.